All right, guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be making a uh, jig. So today we're gonna be making a. Uh, this is called a Midwest furnace jig. So we're gonna make a bunch of them. I've been I've been making a little hook keeper myself. I've been spent a lot of time this morning doing, you know, bending it myself and stuff. You could you could buy them online if you really want to. But I, uh, I bought like a big, like 30 foot one and uh, made it myself. So the hook we're gonna be using today is an Eco Craw. Uh, this is I got it from Borrow Tackle, uh, Borrow Tackle shop. So we're gonna use Eco Craw. Uh, this is the, I think this is new tie up hook. By new tie, I mean it's. Uh, sorry guys, this is size one by the way. So you see how it's got a little bend right there. So that would be perfect for this kind of hook. Quarter out, not half out. We're gonna make quarter out, quarter out, five thirty two, and three thirty two. It's it's this is like holiday. It's really nice out. By really nice at forty degree, and it's Super Bowl today. Also, if you have this kind of mold, it's this is called Lee Lee Pro four twenty. So if you use this setting for this mold for the finish jig, what I learned from a couple time I did before is that. I have the setting at 7 and if I don't I'm gonna end up having a bunch of uh, lead point to the little eye hook there the little eyelid here so make sure you turn down your setting I used to have at 9 but now I turned out to 7 also when you do this make sure you have a ventilation so I usually have the fans running right here and I got my gloves on <laughs> and uh, eye glasses because you want to get some ventilation Alright, so what I learned, I just literally just noticed this is that uh, if you pour the jig really fast, like you know, like I pour the first one, second, and third one without like give it a couple seconds rest between, uh, my hook eye it's tend to fill up with that. So that's a little. Let's see, try it again, see if I actually write or or something went really wrong with the way I have it set up. Okay, so it's, it's leaking for some reason. So here I'm gonna fold the first one. Gonna wait for this drip. There you go. First one, give it two seconds. There you go. One, two, job. Didn't pull the last one. Okay, I kind of missed the hole. Okay, let's see. Look at that. Perfect. By perfect, it's uh, the eye doesn't really fill up. It's super clean. I got a bunch of them over there. So. I might just use all of this. Okay, right now I'm just organizing them by size. This is uh, 532, quarter, 332. So I'm putting in the little organizer, then I'll go back and cleaning up, clean them up later. And I make a bunch of them, and I also make some uh, poison jig right here this is little poison jig swim I can make this for my swim lure alright now I'm just uh, powder coat them 
the trick I learned is actually make sure you put a pliers on the eye so you don't have to powder coat the eye to fill up the hole there. You can do a different way but I, I'm gonna try out this way. I heard people were talking about it. This is like it's guaranteed it's not gonna fill up. Yeah, it's a little miss little on that side right there. Yep. All right, I got them all powder coated, and now it's gonna head up the stair and start tying these up. Look at this. They all look they turn out pretty good actually. Some of them was having let like, this one kind of mess that. So yeah. Let's go try it out. Alright, what's up? Oh, okay, now we're back in the um back in the room and we're gonna be tying the lower ebon making. Uh so now I the setup I have right now is just a, a, you know, like a beginner, beginner tying kit. So we're going to be tying uh, up this lure right here. This is a, a finesse worm. Uh, what is it? I think it's called Western finesse jig. So this is a quarter ounce. Actually, I'm going to be tying with, uh, with the back black bucktail right here. Uh, here we go. So yeah, we're gonna be using that and we're gonna be use, using some of the uh, original patterns here. This is the, with Chateau on it, but I'm not gonna use Chateau. I might use just black, you know, 2% leech. So first we're gonna be tying up the, let's see, I'm gonna turn this around. Then again, the camera will be focused, so I have to turn this way. I'm not really, really good at tying at all, but I just love learning it. Okay, so we gotta look at little nipper, nip it off, and I think this is gonna be dragon on the bottom, representing leech, you know. Just gonna get a little here, cut my off on my laps here. So it doesn't go everywhere in my room. Just gonna put this right here. First couple uh loop, it's gonna be gentle loop, you know. Nothing too crazy. Not too tight. Slowly adjust it. Now you can go a little tighter with it. And you have it all set. <sighs> that look a little funny, isn't it? It's not it doesn't have a lot of thing to hold on at all, really. Only thing it's gonna hold on to it's only the whole keeper. Okay, let me get a little more. So this jig is not really meant for this kind of stuff at all because the whole keeper is different from the uh, like the worm, not hoax worm one.
grab the plier, quality style. There we go. Not the best looking. <laughs> lower button and hit the bottom it's going to be standing like this There you go. There's the one. All right, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. <laughs>